Hey guys, on this week's episode, I'm going to make a Same As It Never Was Leo from the 2003 series. It was season 3, episode 21. Great episode. You should check it out after you watch this, if you can. But uh, I start with a Raph figure, because that's what I had, and he has the right gloves on. But he's like an action action figure. He's got the thing on his back, makes his arms move, his arms are connected, makes it a little annoying. But uh, I dipped him in hot boiling waters to loosen up the plastic. I took off his mask and his belt. His belt just came off easy. And now I use my Dremel to cut off the thing on his back that made his arms move. And uh, now I'm tracing him out so I can make a template to make his uh, jacket. So first I just trace him out. Now I am using spackling, but first I realized that I, sh I should sand him a little. So I did that and now I'm filling all the cracks with spackling. It, uh, it's like seven bucks for that whole thing of spackling and it dries in like 15 minutes. So it's a good uh, material. And while that's drying, I move on to working on the template for his jacket. I constantly go back and forth while things are drying. So that's just how I work. And uh, also makes it fun to try and keep up while I'm talking and watching it and talking to you. But um, and I drew out his jacket using the uh, template I made of him. Now those are old dress pants, or just black pants from when I used to be a bartender. And I don't need those anymore. Thank God. I mean, yeah, bartending's great. Um, I'm tracing out the uh, fold in the jacket. It's gonna happen, and I'm using its uh, craft glue. I forgot to flip it over. I wanted the other side to be the outside but I messed up, but that doesn't matter. It still looks like a black jacket. I'm painting his uh, face green now. Just this first layer, just to cover up the white from the spackling so that stuff starts to match when I paint more layers on and I'm just painting uh, everything with a clear coat of matte varnish so all the rest of the paint will stick in the future. Test out the jacket now that all the glue's dried. I need to trim the sleeves a little bit to make it fit better. And he had a little hole in the underarm, so I used some uh, super glue to glue that. Now I'm just trying to keep the fold line and make it stay still. I pile, <coughs> pile everything I have on top of it and move on to some more paint. Now I'm painting all the skin with a green I mixed together through three greens. I did that fast. I do a lot of painting. I painted his uh, elbow pads and knee pads. Now I'm gluing down, well the, that paint dries, I glue down the flaps of the jacket and while the glue dries I paint more paint because that's all I do really. And now I'm using gray to fill in his gloves because that's the color it is on the same as it never was Leo. I have to fill in a couple of little dimples left by the uh, first coat of spackling. And while that dries, I'm painting his gloves black. Yeah. And uh, with the leftover paint, I'm just dry brushing a little bit black on his feet to make them look dirty and have some more details and to clean the brush so I can use it to paint more green on the spackling that I just added that already dried. Just one thing to the next thing to the next thing, back to the other thing, back to the next thing. It's uh, And then it's in time lapse, so it goes really fast. But now I'm hitting everything I just painted with another uh, quick light clear coat. And uh, now I'm painting his scars, because he has scars, lots of scars, just like me. But you can't see mine, because I'm wearing this hat. Ooh. Yeah and the shirt and other shirt and pants. 
but you can't see my pants so I might not even be wearing pants anyway I painted black stripes I mean yeah scars uh, but it's too pronounced the black so now I'm going over it with a uh, raw sienna which matched pretty good the color then I let the first coat dry I'm putting another coat because the black's still coming through a lot but I just wanted to come through a little bit and uh, now I'm working on the katana so I've made these before I have another video I might link to where I just make these but you can watch this uh, just a thin piece of doweling and now I'm cutting uh, down the vertical so just a little notch so I can glue in the metal or stainless steel cable tie that I cut to size and now I'm stab that into a piece of foam so I can paint the uh, handle blue baby blue because that's what Leo has he just has one katana katana in this episode and now I'm just uh, made a little slice that's going to be the guard and I glue that down and do a little touch up second coat of the baby blue and leave that to dry and now He's got these um, glasses on now because it's a much older Leo in this episode. Instead of a blue bandana, he has these uh, black glasses. To make the frame, it was a um, plastic twist tie. I think it came like wrapped around a cable of something. And two little foam circles I cut out of some craft foam. And you super glue to glue that down. Now I'm just gluing a bit of a hem to tighten up the sleeves and using some black to touch up uh, little white super glue marks. And then I realized I shouldn't have glued the jacket on because I forgot to put his belts on. So I was able to get the one sleeve off but not the other but that's all I needed luckily to glue down these belts and I just got uh, ordered off Amazon these tiny little belt uh, loops or clips or whatever. And I made a, just folded a little piece of the black craft foam to make his um, thing that the katana sits in and that's what he looks like. Thanks a lot for watching. Um, I hope you liked it. Until next time, remember always keep your head up. Uh, if you like this, I make something new every week. Please consider subscribing. Thanks a lot. Uh, peace.